Hashtag Gaw TV, our favorite night of the week. Grab a cocktail, slip into something comfortable, preferably from collar and elbow, and get ready to party with me, Mickey, and Lisa. How you ladies doing tonight? Oh, amazing! So, good. <laughs> so, so amazing. amazing. Well, I can't yes. wait to talk about what we're wearing and why we're wearing it. But you guys know what's up. The, the jig is up. Our fabulous friend Al Snow will be here in just a moment. But before we begin. Please, you know the drill. Like this video. Give us that thumbs up, why don't you? It's real easy. Click that like button. <laughs> Do us a favor and make sure, my friends, that you are subscribed to our channel. Click that subscribe button. And of course, last but not least, Click the bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode. And you're not going to want to do that because 2021, y'all, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. No doubt. No doubt. We have wow. a podcast going. Yeah. We have our new merch coming out, like in the store. We're bumping and grinding. We're really doing it. We're really yeah. doing it. We, we are, are really growing. We are doing growing. It. How fast did that, that happen, right? I know. Yeah. How is it 2021 PS? Like, whoa. What happened? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to talk about it because 2020 <laughs> can just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on it, as Fonzie would say. Am I old enough to make a Fonzie reference? Apparently I am. No, I saw you're that, not. Lisa. You're not at all. Oh, you're it. not. <laughs> yeah. Nick and Knight, Happy Days reruns. I can thank for that. But Mickey did mention the Gawcast, a fabulous new way to experience Gaw TV in your ears, in your earbuds. You can all listen to us in holes. audio format. <laughs> yes. In there. Yes, with a huge thanks to Ella, a wrestling gal. You know, so yes, it's been awesome, dude. That's fun. It's fun to hear like our podcast that we've, our, our shows that we've already done come to life in audio form, like where you can just listen to them in your car or whatever. And so it's cool because you can now watch the show and see all the fun stuff that we do, but then also listen to it later. And then just kind of maybe if you miss some inside jokes. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of puns and uh, yeah. And speaking of puns, we want to give a shout out to Sal in the chat room, who's full of the puns, our moderator in the chat room as Gaw TV. And hello to all of our fabulous uh, chatters over there. We love the chat room. We're in the chat every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern when the show debuts, in case you're watching it on a replay. And a special shout out to all of our patrons of patreon.com slash Gaw TV. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it is the ultimate way to become a part of Team Gaw. We're talking early access to episodes, merchandise discounts, video shout outs from us, signed merchandise, Exclusive a lot going on content. on patreon.com slash Gaw TV. Exclusive content Exclusive is where photo it's shoots. Yes. Yes. Exclusive photo shoots as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. That might be mm -hmm. my favorite part, cool. exclusive Yes, photo even like bonus footage of fun things that didn't make it into the episodes and stuff like that, but that's right. love that. I love well, I'll that. I'll ask you guys what you're drinking and uh, what you're wearing in a moment, but we have a special guest that's coming to us that we all love, we've worked with for years and is an absolute legend in the wrestling industry. That, that word is thrown around a lot, but he has one of the most stellar reputations in the business as being knowledgeable and tough, but a great, nice guy. And we just love him to death. Who wants to do the intro for Al Snow? I mean, we all love him so much. It's like, we have to fight over it. Oh. I, I'm a looking and I'm a liking. I'm a liking. <laughs> we got to bring that up to him. Yes. You know, it's funny because you think that the, I've never heard anyone that's had ever had any a negative word to say about Al Snow. Everyone yeah. loves him. And like, I really got to know Al in like OVW days because he was one of the trainers down there. And it's funny to see now, and we can wait to talk about this when he comes on. But now that he's running OVW and uh, like and with his partner and doing all this, it's funny how like small of a circle the wrestling world is and to see different because I would have never like he went from being a trainer there with WWE to now pretty much taking over and, and getting the company and doing all these amazing things like right. so and, and, and people like, don't realize how me. funny he is he oh, is yeah. a freak and a great storyteller mm. freaking you can sit around and listen to him for hours yeah oh my god the yeah. best he has a lot of experiences for he sure so amazing and and i don't know if we're gonna have time for every single hilarious story with al snow but we're gonna try our damnedest so ladies and gentlemen from ohio valley wrestling from all of your wrestling memory they gotta include this guy it's our buddy our friend al snow welcome to Gaw tv yay what does everybody want hey! what does everybody need al snow yay! <laughs> it's a surprise he doesn't know we're wearing the collar and elbow stuff oh right he's about to Hey guys! Hey. Look at him with his, his reading glasses. I'll be joining you in a second with the reading glasses, Al. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show, Al Snow. Go Thank TV. you. Woo. Finally, 
fun. So yeah. excited. Yep, if you I think knew. you're having fun now, just wait. We'll start drinking. It'll get even better from there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we become more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my but, God. Uh, well, we had a little surprise for you uh, that you might yes. have noticed here. We do a thing on the show where we talk about uh, our outfits. And we yes. thought we would all represent Collar and Elbow, which we're going to put all the information on the screen and all the information in the YouTube description so you guys can start repping the gear. But what do you think? How do I we think look? it looks great. It looks we amazing. Look good or what? Yeah, you girls look great. I even got my <laughs> head sweatpants on. They're the head brand. I don't know if you've heard of them before. No, I haven't. Is it really? What? Well, I kind of thought that you might have had, you have so many things going on. I thought you might have a like percentage in this company. I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. Head? Yeah, you should. But they're yeah, I should. They should give me a royalty. Yeah, sure. Hell they yeah. Should. Well, we always start the show, Monsieur Snow, with a little. Yes. Uh, who are you wearing? What are you drinking? We want to know what you're wearing, what you're drinking, how you're feeling. We're going to have our guest of honor go first, if you will. Okay. Well, I'm I'm wearing my own uh, Job Squad shirt, um, a new version. Let's see. And um, Let's see. okay, hold on. And uh, model, can take model. Back and stand up here. Oh, oh, grizzle, oh, oh, grizzle, ah. grizzle. <laughs> sweet. Okay. Yeah. Um, drinking. I got to go get a. I got to go get a glass of bourbon, obviously, because. Uh, so don't move. I'll be right back. Okay? Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. So, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm literally be right back. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Look, I'm like, we're just going to stalk your backspace while you're gone. Look at this yeah, spider yeah, exactly. mask actually in the background. Like, up. I'm staring at it. Oh, I see. I know. Woman. I'm getting it. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm still on here. He's like, I'm still here. <laughs> we're being super so, creepy like, right now. So, yeah, yeah. So, so Wonder Al, like, Woman is a headband. Wow. And you're you like a big Comic-Con Comic -Con geek too. Obviously. Where is that? At, I dress anyway. up like Wonder Woman on the weekends. Why not? Don't judge. Yeah. Wonder on the weekends. <laughs> wonder, wonderful weekend. <laughs> yeah. Wonder, wonder, wander, wander on the weekends. Wander, yeah, every day. wander around. <laughs> there we are. Okay. All right. So, Al Snow, we yes. love what you're wearing. What are you drinking? I am wow. drinking a uh, Basil Hayden bourbon. Ooh. Finished in a... a Finished in a port barrel. Ooh. So Where's that from? Is that a shot or is that a large? It's a very large shot. Yes. It's a sipper. And then my, <laughs> yeah. to my friend in Japan who taught me this, you take the, uh, anytime you drink whiskey, you take your fingers, stick it in, wipe the room of the glass, and then. Shall we? Yes. Does that yes. work with tequila? Start out, huh? It works with tequila too. Oh, wow. Does it, you ladies. Does it work to do a shot to Al Snow? Yes, to you, Al Snow. To you, ladies. <laughs> White girl wasted. Does this work yes. with Everclear? Does it work with Everclear as well? <laughs> it works, yes, absolutely. <laughs> works with shot moonshine, you know. Everclear. It, it, pretty much anything. That oh we, get all, we can all get white girl drunk here on the uh, on the Gaw TV. Hashtag Anybody white else? girl drunk. I'll tell you what. I, I'm going to have to just pull, uh, go next here because. Yes. I have a favorite Al Snow story, which is to do with, with why I have whiskey tonight. This is episode maybe 36, 37, and I've never really had whiskey on the show, but I'm having it for you, my friend, because first of all, Thank I'm wearing you. collar and elbow, of course. I've got yes. a little um, basic biatch vodka soda, just as a chaser, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but I'm having whiskey hey, because I have to share my favorite memory of Al Snow. There are a lot, but this is the most recent one. So set the scene, okay? We're at a Comic-Con. Right. I don't know if you're going to remember it this way. I think you will, Al Snow. We're at a Comic-Con, and as, as you do, we've got like Kelly Kelly there and uh, Teddy Biasi. We're all hanging out. We go to the bar, and I'm like, you know, my friend, I'd love to buy you a shot. What are you drinking over there? And he goes, well, Val, I'm drinking whiskey. And uh, he's like, you know, are you going to have one with me? And I go, well, I'd be honored. But, you know, what did I get? And he goes, he goes, whoa, 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 Val, now, what did you say to me? You said you can sip it like a man, but you can't just down it like, like, like Sandy or... <laughs> Sandy Brittany or Carol or Brittany at the bar are going to get white girl drunk in about five minutes. Yeah. He basically said, don't do it like a drunken white girl wasted sorority sister. You need to do it like in a classy way. So since then, we've always been like, hey, Kelly. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Margaret. Because we're like, hey. you get a pep rally today? So, hey, Deborah. <laughs> hey, Ella hey, And Al was popping me with these names because then for some reason, they started to get really old school. So he'd be like, listen, Bernadette. And I'm like, wait, what is Bernadette? <laughs> hey, good to see you again. It's good to see you again, Wilma. Wilma. <laughs> 
drink whiskey. I always think of his voice in my head, like you got to sip it in a classy way. You can't just boom back at the frat house. You know, you got to be uh, careful. You can't That's be like Betty. Here, whiskey, <laughs> whiskey Wilma. You can't be <laughs> whiskey <laughs> Wilma. Whiskey yes. Wilma. Yeah, she's she's a hit down at the bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> or Phi hey, Beta more, Alpha. More, got more, yeah. Moya. Got her, got her pack of smokes. Hey, kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> with the trachea. With the trachea. You got the stoma. Yeah, she's smoking through the stoma. Yeah. Always. Well, Lisa, I, I'm not going to you because we're talking about being white girl wasted. We can all be white girl wasted. This is what we do on God TV. I want to talk to you about what you're wearing because it was your idea to get the collar and elbow uh, representation tonight. I love you guys. You're awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When, when did that come about, Al, about the um, collar and elbow? Uh, we started it, my partner and I, Rod, started it about, um, I think, a couple of years ago. Maybe mm -hmm. I, maybe it's been that long. I don't know. Um, oh, I thought David Hero was part of that. He is. David. David's oh. part of it, too. And um, uh, But it started out with Rod and I, and we just got to talk it, and we, we wanted to kind of come up with something that... Um, had different designs you know but at that time remember i mean most of wrestling merch had some guy's face on it and nobody right. wants to walk around with a guy's face on your chest i mean right. i mean come on girls um and uh <laughs> not doing that again okay well, no, that again. I, my, 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 they find with that way of gimmicky t-shirts <laughs> like they only really work for events and stuff like that like if you're going to somewhere that's right. that thing because then if you wear it in public like everyone's like who is that person on your t-shirt? What's that? Right. Like, it's all weird. Whereas I do feel like the quality of your t-shirt, like I love, they're so comfy and cozy. And then Good. the uh, logos on oh. them, this is the Shad one, but like the yeah. logos are so simplistic, but it's like, it's powerful without being overbearingly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we wanted it. to do designs that if you're a wrestling fan, you get it. And if you're not a wrestling fan, you just think it's a cool shirt. So that right. if you want to wear it anywhere, you can wear it anywhere and you don't have to get that one dickhead who's coming up and going, hey, what do you like that? That's fake. And it's like, well, thank you, Angela Lansbury. How long did it take you to put the clues together, Murder, <laughs> She Wrote? <laughs> like, we, no, no, like nobody knew that it was fake. You just finally found that out and wanted to <laughs> let us all know. Thank you. <laughs> Is Santa Claus real? I was just curious. Uh, you want to ruin anything so. else from my childhood? <laughs> Hold on. Exactly. Santa Claus is totes real. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus is real. Yes. Yeah. Told Absolutely. Us, so. I have fully to give you a cheap plug here and talk about collar and elbow because Mickey, I'm so glad you mentioned the quality is amazing because let's be honest, we get a lot of free wrestling shirts and with all due, they're not always the best of quality. I got these in the mail and I was like, oh my God, that's so soft and it's very, very high quality. And I did a little photo shoot. I'll put, put some uh, pictures up here. Oh, I did please. a photo shoot for my fashion blog. And of course I would be happy to model and stuff anyway and, and support my friend, but I did it because I wanted to show that you could wear it with like a skirt or with different things to kind of show that I you usually dress it do. up or down. It's not just this glaring, obnoxious wrestling merchandise. Yeah. I, I right. shushed it up as best I could. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I usually try to wear mine with a skirt too. So, you know. Oh, do to... you? Oh, good. Yeah. We have, we have yeah. a clip of that too. <laughs> <laughs> with that Wonder Woman headband. While you were gone, we were stalking your back bear with the spider. Oh, back. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I've even got uh, um, old uh, magicians uh, um, props and things like that, too. I, I do magic for the blind. I don't know if you ladies know that or not. Um, <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. It's, they you make it love, make yourself disappear? <laughs> they love card tricks, okay? Yeah, you just got to say to die after every trick. They don't know anything happened, you know? So it's like, <laughs> hey, is, it, is this your card? And they're like, I don't know. And you go, it is, to die. And they're like, oh, my God, how's he doing? Whoa. <laughs> That is yeah. so selfless of you to help like that. You're yeah. you're a man of many talents. What I actually favorite. use I actually used that line to pick up my wife. So <laughs> and it worked. It, really it worked. worked. It did. Yes. yes. It worked. Yeah, it worked. And she said, then put on this Wonder Woman. Put and I was like, woman. sure. Ta da. <laughs> <laughs> she's been with you ever since. That's she's been with me ever Fantastic. since. Fantastic. Yes. Well, yeah. adding to your illustrious career, you are now uh, with Ohio Valley Wrestling, which, by the way, is the only state accredited trade school for pro wrestling in the world. And yep. OBW yes. is on eight different national networks, reaching more than 150 million homes. Is that right? Oh. Yeah, nationwide. Yeah, holy, nationwide. Holy. And Amazon Prime and Amazon Fire. And, and you yep. can watch it in Europe as well. Yeah, we're on uh, Sports International. It's a European sports channel. And from what I've been told, it reaches 700 million homes uh, worldwide. So. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible, Al. 
And you know, we just so recently funny. went on Sky Sports too. So yeah. I, you know what's so funny? I, I think about this and I go back of like, rem I remember when I was in OBW and I have yeah. such loyalty and love for OBW because I go like, I knew how to wrestle when I went to OBW. I could uh -huh. get in there. I could do a match. I could wrestle. I didn't know how to work. I didn't mm -hmm. know how to work and I needed the fine tuning. So OBW, I feel like I crafted myself where I was over prepared, right? Like, so I had people right. like Al Snow. I had, who was else was there? Bill Danny Davis, who I adore yeah. with all of my heart. I still, Danny you know, and Julie, Julie and Danny. The, yes. Yeah. Danny and Julie. Like we had all these Paul Heyman, like all these people came through, but Al came through for a period of time and he was our trainer for the whole, like for my latter part of like, and I think that you've been there ever since like the latter part before I went up to TV. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember that. That's where yeah. hurting kittens started. I think that's where hurting, <laughs> hurting kittens yes. Something shiny, started, but something then we shiny. Crossed paths again in TNA after I left and went up to TV, and then we crossed paths in TNA. And yep. Al was our agent for all the matches. Lisa, the best. Poor I Al. remember. Poor I remember Al. when. We're <laughs> Al having Poor the Al. females again. Having the yeah. females. That's a that's a handful. <laughs> It's, we I are hurting answer. kittens. That's where hurting. it began because he yeah. also helped him and Lance, I think both were really important on starting the female class at OVW and making sure there was a class dedicated kind of to them that cultivated so that way they could learn to wrestle like women, make sure, work like the boys, but wrestle like women. Did that yeah. make sense? You know what I mean? Yeah. That whole, the art of that, but yeah. Yeah, it's, I adore you. Always been I adore you of too. Wrestling, always been amazingly supportive and helpful. I think in all of our careers, and for women's wrestling, and, and an advocate for that. But just for as much as that you've done, and how our paths have crossed in the wrestling business, I think all of us is like amazing. It's so funny. Yeah. Well, it's a small, you know, as big as the wrestling business is, it, you ladies know. I mean, it's a still a very small world. I mean, right. There's, you know, especially when you get to a certain point within it at a certain level it gets really, really, really tiny. I mean, mm -hmm. there, there aren't that many people that are at that place, you know, so you, right. you really get, and you get very close. You guys, you guys, you girls are like family to me. You know, I would, you know, I'd go to the ends of the earth for all of you, you know, truly, Same. Um, Same. you know, and uh, um, you know, so it, it, uh, but it's one of my biggest things of, you know, being proud of is, is getting the chance to work with you girls and, you know, both here in OBW and then again in, in Impact. I remember the night you, Mickey, and, and, and Lisa, you guys had that cage match. You know, remember, you know, I remember, you know, walking into One Vince and going, favorite. Vince Russo and going, what the what the hell happened? We last week these girls weren't involved in anything, and now they're in a cage match. What what took place? You know, <laughs> yeah. did I miss miss something? And he's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna open. And we, you know, the, he opened the show, you know, with it. It was it was a big deal. I mean, for you guys to to do that, you know. And I remember yeah. in LBW, we had the first uh, women's ladder match ever with Beth Phoenix and uh, Katie Burchill, you know, mm -hmm. that down here. I, I oh, remember the, the girls were always, you girls were always like, when I was, I was writing and producing the TV, sometimes you were the go-to I knew that would be the thing that would save the show every week. I mean, every single week. That's the truth. You know? Love you. I think we were like, I think the females, we were just like, we're so eager to work and just like, we didn't want a ha ha gaga match. We wanted to go down and throw down and then get the improve. respect from the fans and like right. improve every time. And we would still like, even though we've been in the, the business for years, we're like, Al, I need more. I need to learn more about my repertoire. What else can I do different? You know, I've been doing the same stuff. What, how do or I, how can we like, get there differently? So it's yeah. like, how can we tell the story, but like elevate it? So it's, it's actually like, we start performing and, and going to like where we start being perceived in the same level of the boys. It's not like, oh, they had a great match for a girls match, but like yeah. that was a freaking awesome match. Like the story, yeah. everything of like Area. elevating to that level. So now we're seeing it. Like, I think that's like a huge catalyst as like, and the evolution and all that stuff of like, all that stuff between Trish and Lita and all of us going through. And even the knockouts, I think they do sometimes go underappreciated for the knockouts yeah. division of the work that they put in before it was like really in vogue to be like women's wrestling and women's empowerment stuff. Oh, I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, one of the things I, and I've told you, you know, you ladies too. I mean, uh, one of the, the, the hardest aspects of you know being a, a a female performer in wrestling is is that you you ladies have to be as technically proficient and as aggressive and as intense as a, as the guys but you can't 
intrinsically lose being a woman. You can't go right. out there and just be a guy with boobs wrestling. It mm -hmm. it doesn't sell. It doesn't work. And and yeah. and all you guys, you ladies, have been able to do that. And you know that's what makes makes it so special and makes it better is because of the fact that you still retain your femininity and still wrestle like a woman would wrestle, fight like a woman would fight. And right. that makes, and helps you tell those stories, you know, yeah. that and much more. to be champion too, because that, that's what sets you apart. And like, you know, that that's the best part is you are women and why not celebrate that rather than just trying to be like the yeah. guys, you know? Yeah. Right. Listen, eh? yeah. listen, why you ladies would ever want to be as like the guys is out of your, you guys are, when God created you, he went, he broke the mold, you know, you, you women can take a house and make a home. You can take, you know, a relationship and make a family. Why would you ever want to be like us? All we do is just walk around and <laughs> do our thing. So <laughs> I, 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 Guilty, guilty. Cause we always wanted to work like the guys. We're like, Oh, what? I have to wear that or lingerie <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? That yeah. kind of thing. But like, it, yeah, I, I was guilty. I was like, when I want to work like the guys. And then I think, yeah. well, I think that there was a balance. I think I learned, like, I always wanted, I don't know if I wanted to work like the guys because I appreciated the art of working like a female. However, I just wanted to be looked at. I think that I wanted that level up of like, instead of being classified of, I think the girls had a different bar. That's all. Right. Like I, I wanted to raise the. I was hoping that we would raise the bar for the females to like where they would exp They knew that we were capable of more, and I think that we couldn't have done that and gotten to the level that we're at now without people like yourself or like yes. Kit Finley or people who truly believed in the females who go like, no, they're completely capable of doing all of these things. You got to got to stop looking at them like this and start looking at them as the athletes that they truly are. You know what I mean? So absolutely, I'm super grateful for that. Like I don't think yeah. that we gotten to this platform like it takes a village you know what I mean like it's taken a long time to get to this level for the females and it's taken a lot of people who actually believed in us more than eye candy for years before we got to the level that we're at now where it's like we're main event and shows and the headlines and all these things and but that's amazing. because of you ladies I mean you guys blazed the trail you know you guys you ladies led the led the uh the, the head of the of the march so you should be very proud of what you've done yeah. So true. Well, we and thank you for it. helping us out and believing in us. Yes. No, so that, that, always, wait, always have. Wait, wait, always wait, have. Enough about me, oh. but more never, about me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, enough about me, but more about me. <laughs> my favorite. My, this is my favorite. Like enough about me. What do you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because my favorite topic is me. Because I love <laughs> yeah. me. Because I can't get me. enough of me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> More of me, please. Is there anything else anybody wants to talk about me? I mean, because I would love to hear it. I'm open. <laughs> love it. Well, you, speaking of you, Al Snow, uh, nobody would know talent more than you. Nobody would spot talent quicker than you and having your knowledge and expertise in the business. So when it comes to OBW, are there any uh, specific talents that have caught your eye that you think we'll be seeing in the, in the next few years that, that really stuck out, stick out to you? Oh, I hope so. You know, it, it, you, you got, you ladies know, I mean, it's going to take, it takes a lot of years to develop and takes a lot of experience, takes a lot of making a lot of mistakes. And, uh, but there, there are um, several uh, girls, young, young ladies that are down here that I'm, I'm very excited about. And I really um, feel good about their prospects, um, about their future. Um, and um, several, and clearly several guys, I mean, there's several guys on the roster it's taken me about two and a half years to really start to build up the roster and I've still got a long ways to go um, we're still kind of thin um, we're not quite where we need to be but uh, but boy what what a difference uh, with uh, where we're at, where we're at from where we came from and uh, I'm still very very I don't know why but I'm very uh, uh, thin as far as uh, female wrestlers as far as women really? Um, yeah, but I'm starting to get a couple more. There's a very young girl here. She's only, she's just 21 and, uh, wow. she has a great personality, has a very big, and she could potentially be a, a, a big star. She's good in the ring and, I love that. But she, you know, but you got, you know, you, you ladies know it's, it's not what you do, it's who you are and why you do it. And that's what we really sell. And if, if they don't have that personality, they don't have, they can't emote, they can't, you can't describe them to us to to your friends you know hey you gotta watch this show there's this girl she's a b c d e if you can't do that it's no matter how good she is in the ring she's not gonna she's not gonna sell she's not gonna be an attraction she's not gonna be a draw so i'm right. starting to develop that 
you know, and bring that out of her. And she's got a very strong personality and uh, already. So, and she's got a great amount of charisma. So, and she's yeah. young, you know, she's, she's 21 That's years awesome. old. So, um, you know, it's she's got a ton of potential that because you're like, Oh, I don't have that. Well, one, I go, it's, it's funny how you have taken this, you and your partner Rod, right. You guys have taken it to this le- other level of, because I remember as a trainer or whatever, and it was like with Danny and we were the developmental, it was the developmental territory for yeah. WWE. And then as WWE cultivated their own, what they go with deep South and these other like, platforms and then kind of created their own space. Like OVW was still there. They've always had the, what do we call it? The Kentuckiana that like yeah. Um, yeah. television, like right there in the, in the Valley, you would get that, uh, that one yeah. radio, the TV station that we would have. Mm-hmm. What was that? Yeah. You well, know, we're so on- you guys, it was still able to maintain that, but I think because of the surges of that, and then also with the, you know, now this new level of respect for the female talent, like, whereas they were only signing maybe five, 10 girls a year yeah. back yeah. now, they well, just you remember, went, remember like in when the last, they, they were signing they, all they, of them, all, everybody. They, and they went and had like the diva search and they had, you know, they, they, um, remember Kelly Kelly and, and, uh, Victoria, Christy um, Hemi. um Christy uh, Hemi. and Christy Hemi, um, but, uh, Victoria who became, uh, Alicia Foxy. Fox, who Foxy, so, yeah. so proud of her. Cause you know, you know, they were, they were swimsuit models, you know, know. they had no experience whatsoever. And, you know, for them to develop and have the careers that they did, I am so proud of, you know, both of them. So proud of, especially yeah. Victoria. Victoria used to sit beside me at all the shows and listen, and she worked so hard I to, know. That's you Alicia know, Fox, really, you guys. For you guys yeah, watching, he's talking about Alicia Fox. Yeah, I, I know yeah. where's Victoria, so. Yes, yeah, you know. yeah. I love that so, woman so much. And I so think that she's been underappreciated for a long time. I, I agree. I have no idea the work that she put in, because in that diva search, they were both, her and Kelly Kelly were hired the same day, and then yeah. I think Kelly Kelly, who's worked equally hard, she's busted her butt, but she, she did but on television like they, a couple months later. And Victoria sat in developmental for what, a yeah. year? Almost two yeah. years. Yeah. 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 They were really, really yeah. young. They, I think I think Kelly Kelly was the youngest girl they, to be signed ever at that point. She, she was like yeah. 18. Yeah. You know, and so was 18. so was uh, Alicia uh, or Victoria too. They were mm-hmm. she was like 18. I mean, they both were were very young Babies. and just just kids. And yeah. um had to be you know, you know thrust into this business like that you know but and i think also too like people like in females like when i get asked on like social media and stuff like that how do i get into wrestling i go you need to go to wrestling school i don't think yeah. it's not just about looks it, that has a, a, a huge play the looks mm-hmm. but sure. i'm like yeah. you know there's good school ohio, ohio valley wrestling you need to go there oh is there anything local in my town i go well if you want it bad enough if you're willing to go freaking get up move yeah. Same. leave everything yeah. behind like like all of us did we all left yeah. you know well, and we i think that's up and left i think that's hindsight too lisa because i remember the school that i started at and i go like i would never change my path but the school i started at i learned the fundamentals but then when i transferred schools like i went to there i started there and i was there for about a year year and a half but even when i transferred from there to maryland championship rest, wrestling which was bone breakers which is a more respected yeah. school at that time and yeah. that really is what started to open up all these other doors. But I had to relearn a lot of the stuff that I learned from my first school oh. that I learned the wrong way. You yes. know, like I didn't learn, like it was just like little and then fine tuning. And then by the time I went from there to OVW, that was more of fine tuning and really learning how to like work on a different level because we were working yeah. every single day. We would have like those eight hour practices some days where I was like, Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> and you, never, and we, you know what? Like back in our day too, we never complained about it. Um, I started oh, in yes, developmental. Did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm like, I complained. Like, what the hell are we still doing? I here? never I did. I thought, I, did. For me, I thought I was being tested. So I started uh, in developmental territory. So UPW, I got transferred to MCW with Jerry Lawler's. And then I got transferred to OBW. So I got really lucky to train under the umbrella of people that have been there. True. So right. it's a yeah. much different experience training under people that have been on ECW, um, NWA back in the day, like that have been on that that platform. Mm-hmm. It's a different. It's a different. Yeah, because you got experience. signed pretty. You got signed pretty early, and so you went right underneath the umbrella, the WWE umbrella, to train immediately. Yeah, and I knew nothing about wrestling. Nothing. Yeah. I didn't know how was, to run the ropes. 
Yeah, I didn't know. That was in the very early days of the developmental program. They hadn't really refined it or anything, you know, because you were down there with Terry Gold in in, uh, Memphis. Yeah, Terry Gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and with Charlie and his brother. And yeah, and Tracy Smothers came in and was a teacher. Then Jim Jim Neidhart came in for a while and was a teacher. Then they got rid of him because he was shooting golf balls off the (laughs) balcony (laughs) towards the highway from the hotel. What a great story. What? Yeah. That is a great story. Al is full that's what of I heard. stories. And speaking of Al's story. That's what I heard. Yeah. He, we, could, we could have 16 episodes of just stories. I'm telling you. So my husband, Alan, who you know, Al. Oh, I love Alan. Yeah. We love Alan. The, 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 Alan and Alan. Alan. Yeah. yeah. We love Alan. Alan's arm bar. <laughs> well, so Alan was reading um, your book over Christmas and he read it in like a night and a half he was like you have to read this book it's amazing and so he was showing me little really? excerpts from the book and he said if you're gonna ask Al Snow anything he wished he could be here but he's working he said can you please just tell him that that you guys need to hear the midget in the minivan story I already know this <laughs> this is I actually was gonna bring it up but I was like oh is it we have time for that story that's my favorite story too it is a oh very high requested story <laughs> Is highly it? requested can you give like chat chat bits because people have to buy the book to read the whole yeah you gotta buy the story. book okay you give right. clip notes clip notes, right. right. clip notes. Awesome. he's you like oh it's, it's not gonna justify it i gotta tell the real one or none of it i don't know i'll, t- I'll try i'll try tell the short there version a, i'll tell you the, the short, short version <laughs> 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 that's great Val. I'm proud um of you. <laughs> there was a you know we all go through it, right? You know, where, you know, you're offered things, you know, so this guy who's a midget wrestling promoter, um, he contacts me and he's like, you know, hey, I'd like you to come out and be on this midget wrestling show. I go, I don't know if you realize this, I'm about 6'2", I'm not a midget. Um, or I'm not a little person, we'll use that word because people get yeah, offended yeah. by words now about it. Mm-hmm. So not a little person. So he goes, um, no, I just want you to do uh, like, you know, autograph appearance and then you can be the uh, ring announcer for the show. I go. Okay, so I basically start coming out on these these shows on a regular basis, and um, one night we get done with the show, and I go back to get paid, and he and another little person are standing beside a, the car, and he he gives me my pay, and he goes, uh, you know, hey, I got to go to the next town um, with Bill here, and uh, if you you can ride back with the boys, and I look back, and there's this big like eighteen, you know, one of those big passenger vans. And they've taken out like three or four of the last seats so little guys can sleep and they can throw the bags in there and all that. And, you know, it's about a three or four hour ride back to Oklahoma City. It's out in Oklahoma at a casino. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'll be glad to ride back with the guys. He goes, yeah, hotel's paid for. You just take the shuttle to the airport. You'll be fine. I said, terrific. I said, "Uh, you know, be safe. And he goes, he's got car keys to the van and he goes to hand them to me. And as he goes to hand them to me, like this hand comes out of nowhere, little stubby fingers, and it just grabs the keys. And I turn around and and there's, I call him angry because he was angry all the time. And he just, he goes, I could drive. I could drive. I'm a grown man. I could drive. And I'm like, well, okay, uh, you know, go right ahead. I mean, the last thing I want to do is drive now. I mean, how many years have I done that? So he goes over and I continue to talk to the promoter. I look back, he's sitting in the door, you know, when you open the door and the little well there and he's, putting these two by fours that have been put together and with these rubber bands, these big thick rubber bands, he's putting them on the bottom of his shoe so he can reach the pedals. So I try to be nice and I come over and I'm like, <clears throat> look, you don't have to do that. I'll, I'll drive. I can drive. I'm a grown man. I have a license and I'm not, I would go right ahead. Feel free. So uh, the other five join us because it's Al Snow and the six dwarves. Um <laughs> Uh, Doc and uh, Sleepy, Sleepy and and Ralphie, <laughs> Ralphie, and angry, um, and, angry. And, and angry, and angry, <clears throat> angry driving. I called him Ralphie because he reminded me of Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons because he <laughs> wanted to he wanted me he wanted to be like an animal from the Road Warriors one night and so he's like can you you know paint a paint me paint my face I was like I've never done this he goes. Oh, you can, you know, make me an animal, make me real fierce. I go, so I made him a kitty, you know, I painted a kitty face on him. Yeah. Yeah. So he's out there going, rah, and he looks like a little kitty. So, and I just remember Ralph Wiggum uh, in a Lord of the Flies episode where he jumped up. He's, I'm a kitty. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh my so, God. 
<laughs> Ralphie oh. plays an important part in the story, just so you're aware. So we get on the road, we go, f- and I'm trying to cut this down as quick as I can. Um, and uh, we're on the road for about 20 minutes. We see a pilot station, you guys, you know, pilot on the highway. That's the, it's the mall of the highway. We, you always I, stop at the pilot. I love, I pilot love a loves. I love a good yes, truck the stop. Loves, I love a good truck stop. Yes, Flying J. I like, I like the cup that kind of blanket. Goes. Some yes. nuts. Come and go, come and go. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm like, hey, can we stop and, you know, get something to drink? And he's like, yeah, sure. You know, and we pull off and and I got to go to the restroom. So I jump right out of the van. Don't pay any attention. I go right in. the And when I come out of the restroom, I can see the bald head above the aisle of angry. And I'm like, I shouldn't be able to see the top of his head. I mean, that's there's something going on. So I go to the end of the aisle and he is still on the blocks of wood walking through the store. And I'm like, oh, n- no way. No, listen. And I'm yeah. like, brother, you please take those off. And he, I, you know, cause I'm thinking one minute, you know, for, first off, I'm coming in with six little people. I'm, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of attention. Well, now I've got one on stilts and I'm yeah. like, just please take those off. He's like, I can't take them off. It takes too much time to put them on. I said, I'll drive. I can drive. I'm fine. Do whatever you want. Right. So I, I go get a Diet Coke and I get like some trail mix or something. I, I was, that was an obsession at that point. So I go back to the van and here come the rest, you know, trotting out and then you all pile in the van and then here comes angry. Now what is angry got under both arms or one arm? I'm sorry. It's got like a 36 pack of beer. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, yeah, yeah. brother, brother, pump the brakes because we all know little people in alcohol do not mix mm-hmm. because they get indignant and get worse and they get horny. So, um, so I'm like, he gets in, I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, uh, I got thirsty. I go thirsty. Jesus Christ. I said, I guess you brought bo- enough for the rest of the van. Right. So I immediately start throwing beers in the back trying to empty the, the 36 pack of beer because there's no way he's drinking us and driving so he's like you know hey quit your my beer i'm like don't worry so that's when ralphie speaks up and says he doesn't drink so now angry gets mad at him starts calling him particular names and he um drink. correct yeah. so now i'm like hey it's great the heat's off me so of course i yeah. start stirring the pot and i start ribbing ralphie so I start getting him, I'm like, Ralphie, come on, you can, you can chug it. Just prove angry wrong. So I get Ralphie to ch- chug the beer. I'm like, eek, 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 like in Japan, you know, and he sh- chugs down the beer. I immediately throw him another one because I'm trying to keep angry from drinking too many. Yes. So by the third one, I start to hear from over on the other side of the van, I hear the sound of aluminum cans rolling on the floorboard. You know, that sound of, yeah. and I look over. There's three on the floorboard. He's on his fourth one, right? Ralphie's only on three and he's been chugging. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, this isn't going to go good. So yeah. we're still driving. About 15 minutes later, we start to hear the familiar sound of the van, of that. Because oh. we're starting to go off the road and we're hitting the little bumps along the, the median. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, we're going to die. So it's about, I don't know, at this point, maybe three o'clock in the morning, not really thinking too clear. See the IHOP up ahead. I go, ah, I know what we're going to do. We're all going to get pancakes. Yes. Hey guys, who's hungry? Car- carve them up, right? right? Carve it up. Carve them up. Yeah. So I've got a van full of drunk little people. This is great. I'll get pancakes on them. That'll soak up the alcohol. They'll all right. sober up. We'll be fine. Yeah. Didn't really think this through because at three o'clock in the morning, what's IHOP usually full of? Drunk drunks. Normal people. Right. So now I'm about to normal people. Yeah. So I'm about to drive walk in there with six Six, six. that are drunk. This is gonna go well. Yeah, it's gonna go well. People at IHOP at that time of night. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. (laughs) So we pull in the parking lot and uh, you know, they all jump out of the van, literally because they can't reach the ground. Um, uh, Ralphie goes to do it, and he falls. And, no, because uh, he's angry. on his stilts? No, 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 oh, no yeah, oh, that's, that's angry. Okay, no, okay, that's okay. angry. Angry's yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Angry runs around the van, oh, no. starts, starts yelling at him, cutting a promo on him, you know. He jumps, uh, uh, Ralphie jumps up. They, they uh, look like they're about to fight. I break them up, and, you know, we get it settled, and we begin to make our way across the parking lot 
to IHOP. Now I've not paid attention, but I suddenly realize I'm about eye level or close or with angry. And I look down and he's still on those block of wood. And I'm like, brother, stop. You got to take those off. There is no way I'm walking into this restaurant with you on stilts, on stilts. with <laughs> an army of little people. It's, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. So we're <laughs> arguing. And as we're arguing, I watch Ralphie, you know, as you get closer to the door, there's a, usually the big plastic garbage can. I watch him walk head first into the garbage can, take a bite. <laughs> oh. So angry runs over and starts to berate him again, mm. Ralphie, and Ralphie jumps up and they're about to get in a fight. Now I'm trying to keep them apart. And as I'm trying to keep them apart from fighting, I look up and there is nothing but faces against every window on the front of the IHOP. Well, it's a site. It was, I'm sure, I don't understand why this didn't go viral on Instagram. Never, live, right? on that you should have sold tickets. You'll never, you should you'll never believe it. I was at this IHOP. People like all those people are now telling other people about that story. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. That's that's so true. You have to pay to see that normally. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Any normal person would have went, hey, let's abort the mission. Not me. <laughs> let's let's sally forth. Let's go let's forward. Quit. quit while we're ahead. Steam full full steam ahead. So we go right in. You know, and of course, where do we get seated? Because we get seated in the round table and you've all been an IHOP. Where's the round table? In the center of the room. That, you know, For sure. Were so you course, sitting in the middle with three and three? Oh, we had them all around, all the way around. It's like a poker table of, yeah, of little yeah, people, yeah, yeah. you know, and um, and everybody's, of course, whispering and, and pointing. And uh, and of course, angry is getting angrier and he's drunk. Because I've know, never so, seen little people before, especially six at one time. Yeah. Or one on stilts, you know. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, still got a stilts on. Still got his stilts on, and because uh, I've forgotten about it, uh, you know, between the ang and fighting and then realizing everybody's and uh, too much going on. Um, <laughs> so he starts cursing at the top of his lungs, like he's he's cussing and yelling, and 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 then I'm I'm like dealing with Doc over here. Doc's wanting to you know wanting to order like pancakes. He doesn't know what ones to get. And I'm trying to help him. It's like I'm dealing with children or something. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. So all of a sudden I just hear a big like thud. And I hit, hit the table and I'll turn around and angry has fallen face first oh, onto no. the table. So I'm like, thank God he's blacked out. <laughs> oh, no, he hasn't. He's, he's, he's completely awake, but apparently his head has fallen forward and he can't get it off the table because his hands are underneath the table and he doesn't know how to lift them up to push his head off of it. So he's over there cursing wow. at the top of his lungs, which is bringing the, the entire restaurant's attention again. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So yeah, as I pick him up like a bowling ball and just grab him and pull him forward, he sees Ralphie laughing at him. So he gets angry, angrier, and he jumps off. He literally hopped off his seat like this, jumped down, <laughs> ran around the table and shoved Ralphie from the side. And Ralphie went ass over tea kettle off his seat onto the floor. <laughs> now they're about to fight again. Now I'm in IHOP trying to keep these two little people from fighting. The entire place is now screaming and yelling and now Fight. angry turns against me and he tries, starts trying to headbutt me in the groin. He's trying to headbutt me and I'm holding his head and he starts trying to kick me in the shins with the blocks on his feet. And I'm like, <laughs> and now I'm starting to lose my shit. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. To lose my shit. And I'm thinking to myself, I, I swear to God, I'll never forget this. I'm looking around. I'm like, I'm going to knock this midget out. I'm going to, I'm, and I'm not going to look good doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've got to knock him out because if I don't, he's probably going to kick my ass. So I've got to, <laughs> I've got to in one shot, I got to knock this guy out because if I don't, so as I'm just about to hit him, I, from the side, I hear scream and here comes Ralphie and just Goldberg spears angry into a table of normal people and chaos erupts. Just the whole restaurant explodes. They're rolling on the floor. People are screaming. Women are running. <laughs> it was insane. Oh I'm trying God. to pull them apart. The female, the woman manager comes out and she's screaming. She goes, get out, get out. You, you guys are banned from IHOP. And I was like, what? She goes, I'm going to call the cops. You're banned from IHOP. I went, that's it. Get the fuck out of here right now. You got me banned from the one restaurant. I enjoy to eat on the right. road. Get the fuck out. I'm tired of all of you. Get out. I just started cutting a promo on all of them as we went out. We get outside the door and Angry's like, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Just <laughs> shut the fuck up. I said, you got me banned from my up. I thought it was the whole country. You know what I mean? Like I was yeah, banned yeah, from yeah. every not high the up. one in Wilmington, not, North Carolina. Not yeah. out in Oklahoma. Yeah, you know, out in the, there too. 
out in the middle of Oklahoma. I'm like, God damn it. And I'm so angry because I was, I was so disappointed. I was so looking forward to pancakes, and, <laughs> which is why, why do I care? But so I did. Episode is IHOP. You can't get banned IHOP. from IHOP. So it's weird. like a national treasure here. Oh, it's IHOP is a national treasure. Yeah. Well, the story's not over. Okay, no, so it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> could be that. It couldn't be that simple. You got story time. Oh. Pancakes. Angry <laughs> looks at me. He goes, I, I got to go back in. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, I, I lost my blocks of wood. Still, I, lost, I, I can't oh, no. reach the pedals. I can't drive. I go, listen, I can drive. He goes, no, no, you don't understand. I have to drive. I go, shut the fuck up. I said, listen, I'll drive. It's fine. I get it. You're a grown man. I understand. But I, I need you. I need you because I started trying to work him. I was like, listen, I need you, man. I, I need you to man the doors. Because I remember Jerry Lawler's book and he told a story about Lord Littlebrook. Okay. Lord Littlebrook who used to travel with Jerry Lawler. Um, and what they do is Jerry would drive up in front of your car if you were out on the road and he'd pull over in front of you. And then Lord Littlebrook would be in the trunk and he'd open the trunk of the car <laughs> and he'd start <laughs> waving and stuff. And I said, listen, so here's the deal. I can talk, I'm going to talk Ralphie. You but just, you're in a van. You're in a van. Right. We're in a van. Yeah. It's big. Okay, it's yeah, got yeah. the double doors, right? Yeah. I said, listen, I just need like you and Doc. You're the only two I trust. I said, just, I got a plan. Okay. We're going to, we're going to use Ralphie. Okay. He's like, oh, I hate Ralphie. I go, great, great. Just give me the keys. I'll drive. I just need you to operate the door. So we get in the van. I start talking to Ralphie and I convince him to get naked. Now this took about 15 minutes. So he was willing to get naked. I'm telling you, because it didn't take long for me to talk him into it. So I get him. He's buck naked, except for his tennis shoes. He would not take off his tennis shoes. He refused no, to take he doesn't them. want anybody to look at. He didn't get his pedicure done. He didn't want anybody to look at each other. <laughs> That's his dignity. Keep those shoes. Yeah. On. So he keeps his tennis shoes on. Right. So the plan is we are going to find a car. We're going to pull up in front of it. I'm going to hit the dome light. They're going to open the doors and Ralphie's going to stand there naked. I'm like, this will, this will be great guys it'll be awesome so we pull up we find a, a minivan was the first victim i'm like there's a family in there i know for sure so we whip up we go 75 80 85 we whip up in front of them i go now they whip the doors open i hit the dome light and ralphie's standing there kind of like acting like he's jerking off so the van starts flashing the lights and beeping the horn because he's standing right in the middle of the door naked and he's like playing with himself <laughs> so, oh my god <laughs> so, this is not the story i imagined we're all like, oh, this is great. Oh, it's awesome. Right. So we keep doing that about three or four more times. Now, granted, we probably should have stopped um, when things were going good. Because, uh, yeah. you know, how you know how it is, you know, it's it's good. And you just let it go. You know, it's like in a match. It take, until it's not good. Take it, yeah. take it home. Take it home. You got the pop. Take it home. Go yeah, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the highest pop you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we had a better one. So. <laughs> We fly the Cadillac. We know it's, you know, there's old people. So this is going to be great. Now I got to get up about 85, 90, right? Because the old guy, he won't slow down. So I got to keep speeding up. And you know, you go, you girls, you've been on the road. You know, when you, when you get to the overpass, how it's got that little bit of a bump, just yeah. as you get to the, every time, right? Where the, the pavement's not yeah. exactly. And it does yeah, that. A little bit of. So I get over in front of the, of the, the Cadillac. And just as we get to the to the overpass, I go now, and I flip on. I'm looking in the mirror, and I flip on the lights, and I hear boom, and all of a sudden I see a naked ass go up in the air, and I hear stop, 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 and I look back, and I see angry and Doc hanging out the back of the van, and and Ralphie's hanging out the back of the van. <laughs> Apparently, the bump shot him up in the air, and he fell toward the doors and oh. fell out the back of the van. So his little naked ass was hanging out the back of the van. So I whipped off the road and we pulled Ralphie in. He was crying. He was bleach white. He was his he almost little, died. His little, <laughs> little toes, the little toes on his little shoes that drug on the ground. He was, oh my God. he was so upset. And um, yeah, everybody was pretty sober after that and pretty quiet. Yeah. And we just drove the rest of the way to Oklahoma and that was it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god okay there's another story al um is it is this oh, in your book when the promoter um uh, rode his horse oh yeah yeah, yeah i put that is one that in your book too. is that in your book yeah. oh my god yeah. i must yeah. read where okay. can we buy this so, book al oh i yeah. actually have a I have a copy of it here too. oh yeah yeah yeah. let's show beautiful that. we have that you said no, you no, send no, that no. book to no. is that what happened <laughs> what's that did you send that book to nick we have that I, book do you yeah, I don't have it. What 
feel like we have that book. Alan's we'll got to. the Kindle version. He was like, yeah. it is amazing. He's like, I already loved Al, but I have like so much more newfound respect. And oh my God, <laughs> he's such a fan. Yeah. I love I it. I feel like We're all fans. you yeah. are just the, just the stories. I, oh I, my God. Well, that's the Absolutely. greatest part. You get you guys, you know, you have tons of stories. That's the greatest part yeah. of, of. I don't think I have a story wrestling. like that. Maybe no, one I don't know. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Are these guys available for interviews? Uh, angry and, uh, and I don't think so. I don't know. Oh. I have also <laughs> stories really. about when I uh, when I had uh, Jesus Taser Santa in a wrestling match and uh, yes, yeah. Jesus tasered Santa. I don't remember yeah. this story. Yeah, and Sandusky. I don't know any gold right there. Yeah, now Chaz, you know. Chaz the headbanger was there. He watched that one happen. Oh so, yeah. Yes. I've talked I've talked numerous people into tasering each other and there's several stories. I do there. remember this. I yeah. remember this. You should tell the story. Oh my god, we I think we could sit here for hours and tell stories. I remember like the stuff of like the herd and kittens. And I was like, I wonder how if he's gonna hit that one because he would say with working with the girls, it was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was never a wrestler yeah. impact, but I remember like always like, well, where's this one? Oh, I don't know. She's, you know, her lashes or this or that, or, oh man, <laughs> we're messes. It was literally like, it, it was it, like it, it trying to put. I would hold up, you have a shiny, um, he was always blinged out. So we yeah, hold his I, jewelry going, yeah. you're all like ADHD or ADD. And we're like going, oh, shiny thing. Okay, oh, we're going to match <laughs> now. Yeah. Oh my God. Because we were oh, all over God. the place. God yeah. forbid we have a rumble. Yeah. I'd want to kill match. myself. That's a, that's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. When like we had even... six, we had six girl tags. I wanted to kill myself. I, yeah, I, know. Oh, I, I know. bet. Yeah, you still have the scars to show. <laughs> it takes a strong man to handle that many women uh, with different opinions, different everything at that time yeah. in Impact Wrestling, and of course. Uh, but it was, you know what though. And sincerely, it was it was probably some of the most fun I've ever had. It really was. I really, honestly, I was disappointed um when they took me away from you girls and and made me do other stuff i was like well, yeah. I, I don't i don't want to we work with too i don't we want to work with the guys you know yeah. what i mean because I, I, we would have a new agent and then i'd still go back to you al and go yeah. hey, you want me to do this um <laughs> right. what should i do instead i'm like I yeah go, Are you serious? and it wasn't like it was a lack of love to those other agents or anything it's just that we had a wasn't a special bond because it's like we yeah. built that for like i don't know yeah it's fun. yeah Sound like I had a lot of I had a lot of fun, and I have I tell you I have the utmost respect for all of you. Seriously, oh, we, we, we never did our shot. We, Val, we never did our oh, shot. Oh, I did my shot when we had our first drink. I did my shot. <laughs> I still have a little bit of one. Oh, I thought we were doing the shot then, but I'll have my other I drink. We're doing a, a little shot seat. It's just shot like the look and the liking. Shot 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 I'm a looking and I'm a liking. That was the day that I all this. That was the that fateful day. When Lisa and I were in the ring, well, I'd met him like handshake, hey brother, how you doing? Kind of backstage and catering Tuesday taco yeah. day or whatever. But and I think that was, that was the, the first day. He was going to a photo shoot or something. He was going to go shoot with Lee and he was all rolled up and he came down with his nose in the air and like head bobbing like this, you know? His nose in the air. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was He's like, peacocking, peacocking. Look at, he was a little bit like a bit of an asshole i'm into that apparently so <laughs> aren't, we, aren't we all aren't we all we have what a, a great way to end the show i was gonna end it on a cute note and be like al you said it best that we are like family but i like that we love about <laughs> assholes we love <laughs> assholes. <laughs> we love assholes no but do you remember that doing I that thing. and then i was like oh i'm gonna look and we all pop but i didn't think he heard us and then we all He's like, his Nick story is like, he looked back at Al that day and Al was just like. Yeah, I was. I was, I was like, good God. Jesus. Yeah. They good you ladies. Too. And what, I was like, you ladies complain about us. Gee, man, they Christmas. You guys are horrible. You got, you we girls really, worst. you girls really are. I mean, you're a hundred times worse than guys. We're you crazy. really are. Like when I would, everybody. I'd sit there and I'd listen to you girls. And I was like appalled. I mean, like it would like. <laughs> You'd go like back I was into the hotel room and suck your thumb and be in the shower. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> like, oh my god, you your mama with those mouths? Jesus Christ, I was like, is this how this really is? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, imagine I'm... what the locker room's like. You have the nerve, you have the nerve. 
like oh and guys don't listen they don't go into details like you girls or nothing like that i mean <laughs> yeah, we're you know crying. it's like hey hey did you did you get with that girl yeah last night yeah okay we're done you do hey did you get with that guy you get with that guy yeah and then it's every second of every recap you just and need they, the whole visual you need to be there you need to experience it with us and graphic you're so graphic like you i would so like to use the word descriptive descriptive yes yes, yes. yes. Uh, so then he did this and it was like this and i was like no and then it was like other, right Right, Val, 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 we also like we did it to pop each other too, like going, and then we kind of knew you're listening to, like how how uh -oh. disgusting can we get? To oh yeah, you walk away. I'd sell, I'd like, sell every time, I'd sell every time, because it, it really for a shoot, I was like, oh my god, I gotta leave. I gotta, <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, like, we're the worst. What, okay. Stop talking. I, I, did, I didn't even know how to react. I was like, stop, don't, don't say that. Don't. That's I don't need problem. to know. I don't need to hear that. I did. <laughs> Let's get back to the match. Just. <laughs> yes. Back to some non-graphic stuff. Wow, Snow, we love you so much. We could talk to you for I days you and days girls. and days. We're going to have you back on because there's so much we didn't Absolutely. cover. Absolutely. I know. I'm to let you go now. We want to say thank you for being here. We love you. Thank you. You we are like love family you. to us. I love Any you. I love you, girls. Coming up in the near sort of Yeah, yeah. Where do you have to plug in? Month, weeks? Uh, Days. Well, we're 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 um we're still you know we'll be doing OBW TV on Tuesday. We're at uh, episode I think eleven hundred and twenty one. We have wow. eleven hundred and twenty one consecutive episodes. That's so, amazing. That's amazing. You know, Cheers you, to that. You girls are a part of that. So thank you. We're yeah. so proud of you. So many Cheers, we love you. To everyone best who's years watching, my life were make there. sure that you look in the YouTube description for all that we've mentioned tonight. Cheers to Al Snow. Everybody, subscribe. Al, we love Cheers you. Cheers to you, girls. We, I love you, girls. <laughs> love you so much. Love you. I love you too. Thank I you very much. Whole, I can't do the whole thing. <laughs> you I can't? say it was. Boy, times have changed. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> this is the word go, yo, go.